hello everyone today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to take a look at the fresh release from arma hobby it's a kit in 170 second scale and you can see that it copies f6c mustang it's expert set and you can see we have two stars here so we have a commercial sample on our table so it means you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and straight away i have to note the box art of this kit because it looks really beautiful and it would be a great poster if they sold it as a separate poster so i really hope that they will finally start doing it because all of their box arts recently there are truly masterpieces which are worth putting on your wall and the box size is quite typical for this set here you can see comparison with my hand and on the side here we can see also a list of the features so because this is expert set we get also p and masks on the rear side you will find four marking options but there should be more because it's expert set we will see it further in the video review and here we have some information about manufacturer some safety notes so it's also quite, I would say, typical thing for the plastic kit, no matter which scale you pick. So it's a side opening box. All the parts are packed into the same plastic bag. So I'm going to open them right now. It's a resealable plastic bag. That's why it's easy to open. And it's not that difficult to take all the parts out. Nevertheless, we also have clear frame which is packed into a separate plastic bag so it's a ziplock bag it's also quick to open but still a nice touch that it's actually packed separately in order to avoid any unnecessary damage which can be caused during the shipment so let's zoom in and here you can see this clear sprue so in my opinion it looks quite fine there is nothing to complain about so it's just a matter of uh, let's say careful installation and as you remember we have masks included maybe I will be able to show them right now because they were also on the top packed together with P parts okay so here are masks they are pre-cut, as far as you can see they will be handy not only for the canopy, here we have canopy, but we also have stickers for the landing gear wheels. And that's really great because in such small scale it will make it easier to get a nice paint finish and also not to waste your time trying to cut out all these tiny stickers. So win-win let's say and you get it out of the box anyway so it would be strange not to use it. And of course you can copy the open canopy with this part so there is nothing to worry. And one more thing is the P fret. So here you can see that we have unpainted P fret, which is quite, I would say, typical in its contents. We have seat belts, we have also a radiator mesh, and all these parts will definitely go, let's say, and not go unnoticed because they should be visible on the finished model, and obviously they will add some fine features which are needed in such small scale. And next we start with a gray plastic sprue and here I have to say that we will have quite a different approach to this video. So first of all I will put this sprue, let's zoom out and here you can see that we have typical set of gray parts and if you saw the previous Mustang from the same manufacturer you won't be surprised here. But what is different in this video review? So I will be showing these parts in a zoomed in view just few seconds later. It will not be commented but it will be way closer uh, than what we are used to see in our video reviews. So I will be happy to hear your opinion about such approach. And now let's go into this mode. Okay, so overall I think all these parts look fine and let's not forget that you get all this stuff in a 170 second scale, so that's definitely a nice design. And of course it should be easy to work with them because as you can see we have one piece uh, landing gear wheels, we have few tanks with guiding elements inside and we have one piece propeller, we have two types of the exhaust stacks here, so it's really nice set of parts. But that's not all, we have another grey plastic sprue 
and this one is bigger that's the second and the final gray plastic spruce so again we zoom out even more and here we have fuselage parts we have wing parts note that wing has the ailerons promoted but flaps are separate and also tail fin is separate here note that one piece cockpit four will be combined together with a fuel tank and some other parts so be ready for this and as far as i know there are some p aftermarket upgrades so this will be definitely handy as well and now we can go into our macro mode again so let's check it Okay, so overall you can see that all these parts, they look really great and in my opinion to get all these features in such small scale, it's really amazing, it shows actually what can be achieved with such uh, modern technologies today. And if I flip it over inside you can see that we have also some minor features in the cockpit, we have also wheel wells here, so everything looks great and it's just a matter of careful assembly and you'll be good to go. And of course we have guiding elements so there is nothing to worry about. Next we continue with decals. So decal sheet is printed in tech mode, which is also a typical thing for this brand. Maybe I'll close the lenses a bit so that it won't be that bright. And here you can see that we have a segmentation for the stencils. Also, we have main symbols and even shark mouth here. And printing quality looks great. I think this set is also good because we have decals for the cockpit, even though we have also P parts. But I know some others are not that, let's say, fond of using P parts. Maybe it's a bit tricky for them, so that's why these decals will be handy. And now I offer you to you know, check these decals in a macro view as well, so let's do it. Okay, so as for the marking options, we will check them in the assembly manual, which I will show just in a few seconds. So here it is. It's a typical Arma hobby brochure. So as you can see, we have short history note on the first page. And also we have colors chart and list of the components which are included into the box. Next, I'm opening it and here assembly process starts straight away with the cockpit. Note that we also have small hints on how to paint this or that area. And obviously with the cockpit you have to do it in advance because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to reach various uh, spots. And here we also work with uh, P parts straight away, so be ready for this. Next we continue with a few tank and radio station, then we proceed with the instrument panel which will be assembled out of separate parts. Here we have also some parts for the cockpit walls. So overall what I see here, it is really impressive for a 170 second scale. I mean 148 scale kits on the market offer OS from some manufacturers obviously. And here we continue with uh, air intake and then we install this instrument panel into the place. Here you can see the process and then the cockpit floor goes uh, there as well, tail ending gear together with the tail ending gear wheel, and then we join fuselage halves together. So, now overall process looks simple, but I would recommend to pay attention to all these internal inserts because it will, um, it might have influence on the overall position. Then we continue with the ending gear wheelbase. Then we have separate flaps, as you remember. Here we have the correct location of the parts scheme, so it's shown not only in the drawings but also in 3d images 
Then we continue with the landing gear, so here everything is quite simple. Note how the wing will be installed to the fuselage and also this tail section. As you remember, it is molded separately and we have a choice between two parts. So you have also to pay attention to your reference materials in order to use the right version. Next we have this frontal section of the air intake which is molded as a single piece part and that's really cool because it will give you a better finish without uh, visible gaps in such visible area. And then we proceed with exhausts, propeller, here we install the canopy and of course you'll have to decide whether you would like to open it or close it. As you can see there are different finishes for this and also different types of the canopy as well as far as you can see here then we have also choice between few tanks and bombs here you can see the stenciling guide for this aircraft and then we proceed with the first two marking options Obviously this one looks interesting, but maybe some people love the natural metal finish. Here we have another pair. This one is notable because of the lightning on the nose. This one is notable because of the shark mouth. And two more, as you can see. And as I said in the beginning, we have some bonus markings. Arma Hobby is famous for this. And that's really cool because it's a good thing to have some surprises in the box. And obviously you have a wider choice here, we have also a small add of the other kits available, we reviewed them as well, so you can find their videos on our YouTube channel. And as for today's kit, I think it's a really great addition to the whole model range from Arma Hobby, it should be already available so you can get it in any good model shop or maybe even from the official manufacturer website. And of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about this model, about this style of the video review, so write it here. In in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye